Constantino. Ole. Pound for pound. Middle Giant Set it off. About, all right, all right. Let's go. You want to play? Let's talk about all, all that you're doing. Let's talk about uh, kind of cowards you guys are. You know that. Then it kind of sparked me. But uh, other than that, I was chill. Um, I'm just ready to uh, do what I gotta do. Raya, ¿estás sintiendo el apoyo de la afición latina? Do you feel the support of the Latino? I do. I do. The more the fight gets closer, I can feel the love. Uh, all the Latinos in the world and the Latinas, and uh, I'm, I appreciate it. I appreciate all the love. Ryan, Ryan tell me about your fight oh. for mental health. Tell, tell me about your fight for mental health, fam. Brother, what's up, uh, fam? To me, uh, mental health is so overlooked at times, and um, it costs lives. It costs lives uh, having that stigma around. Uh, we all know we're looking at each other, and you guys all came around with your cameras. But each in, uh, of you guys have your own story and your own things that you guys are dealing with at this current moment that nobody can see. So unless we speak about it, and none of you guys are going to feel the need to speak about it. Right. And um, that's what I'm always going to be an advocate about. And uh, I'm going to stay true. Ryan, te molesta, te molesta cuando, te molesta cuando no solamente Germonta, Germonta ve y dice que nada más trae el hood. ¿Te molesta eso? What is, que Gerbonta dice que nada más él trae el hood para aplicarle, para oh, pegarle. Oh, ¿Te molesta eso? Oh, just to bother you guys, he says you only have the hook. Like... That's all I need. That's <laughs> <laughs> all I need. Just give me my slingshot. I'm ready to hit him. Boom. I just, look at it. Take everything out in the contract. Just give me my left hook. I'm good. Right, <laughs> what is the first bet <laughs> dead in this fight? Brad. Right. Address, go. Yeah. Is the first bet dead now? You guys have talked yeah. about it. Is it dead on both sides or what's going on? I mean, on? it's just hard to figure out in this little time. I mean, at this point, I'm not going to drag it along. It's most likely not going to happen. And uh, notorious Conor McGregor kind of put it in perfect terms like, this is stupid, man. I mean, we, we probably got, you know, that guy pressured Gervonta to say that. You know what I mean? He was hyping him up on that live, like the biggest hype man you could ever see. So, um, it's not worth it, you know. This guy is gonna need—he's gonna need a lot more than money after this fight. So at least I can do is not take that fight. Have you ever heard of two fighters actually putting their personal lines? Because we hear about it all the time, but then post fight, I think fight, undercover. It just goes I think undercover. What makes you think that? Why, why, why do you think that they're, they're conspiring? I'm scared, bro. But, but what? What have you seen that makes you? Think that? Their actions. I don't need to see anything. Look at what they're doing. You've seen people that's just suspicious. Look at all the claws. I don't care though. I allow them there. You know what I'm, I'm not worried about it. It's not going to do anything. I, I will give him my whole playbook. He will stop, not stop it. You know, there's sometimes, as a fighter, you just know how to fight. So when I'm in there, what he's seen may not what's going to be in front of him. It's just, this is fighting. This is boxing. Some people have it. Some people don't. Dan. I was going to ask you, one of the things that I thought going into this uh, fight week, that you guys really wanted to go at each other in a, in a serious manner, he would get on your case about your mental health problems, you would get on his case because he's facing sentencing in a criminal case coming up next month, and for all the back and forth that you guys have had, you guys have avoided the personal stuff like that and not gone in that gutter. And Why is that? I'm proud. either one of you guys. I'm proud of myself, yeah, you know? Um, it's easy to fall into that nature of beating a man Thank down, sure, uh, but I believe in forgiveness, and I believe that uh, you're the man that you are today, not the man that you are yesterday. So as long as he's uh, he knows what he's done is wrong, and you know, then I then I then I just choose to not bring it up. Right back here. That's it. Ryan, you're a pretty big betting underdog. You never lost. Do you embrace this opportunity to play spoiler here? It's just what it is. You know, I feel like I'm the, this is going to be the last time I'm ever the underdog again. That's right. Ryan, you sort of push this whole dialogue that you know, you know on the internet box when you are a real yeah. boxer, that you're fake, that all these things don't add up. What do you say to stuff like that? He's like, listening to the Instagram comments too much. That was <laughs> That's exactly what I, what I see. He's just listening to those Instagram comments and uh, it's getting to his head. He's losing focus uh, as the time goes by. He's believing him, so he can believe that he's gonna win. Trust me, deep down in the side, he knows. Does it not get to your head though? You hear somebody talking about this for oh, months no. and months and months. Not at all, man. All I do is focus on today. Today uh, it's, brings its own challenges, and I take them step by step. I didn't think the press hey, conference yo. was gonna be like this, but then it became. Like <laughs> all right, back there in the red right hat. Hey, yes. Thank you. Thank you.
Are you a salsa dancer? Am I a salsa dancer? No, but I can move damn good. You don't need that. That's why I asked. Because it correlates with or losing the fight. Good food. Ryan, how was the how was the, the face off right now? I'm I was ready to get into it. Let's work. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, face off, was whatever. You know, we chirp, said our words, but words don't mean anything at the end of the day. So we're just pretty much. I see it as entertainment. He's saying what he says, and I say what I say, but I know the reality is none of it matters. You step in the Ryan, ring. Do you believe that uh, he crossed a line with the, with the Mexican because he mentioned that you are not Mexican at all? What is your opinion about that? I just feel like he, I mean, how can he speak if he's not Mexican? How can he speak for all the Mexicans if he's not Mexican? Right. Just like I wouldn't speak for the black community because I'm not black. But again, I don't ever, I don't see, I don't have a heart in heart. You understand what I'm saying? I just see it for his lack of uh, awareness, maybe I could say. You know, ben? Maybe he shouldn't say that, but I'm not going to judge him too harshly. A message ben. for the Mexicans, please. A message for the Mexicans, please. We're they gonna, are following you. We're going to do this. Viva me. Together. Viva me. Are you hoping that more fighters may follow the trend that y'all have of taking your risk and your own so early in your career? I mean, what do you feel like impact, if this goes well, if the fight goes well, what kind of impact do you think this will have on young, younger fighters maybe taking more risk early in their career? Hopefully it inspires uh, this generation. Uh, I just followed my heart and understanding uh, where it was leading me, and I fought for it. So I think it's a testimony that when you really want something, you uh, continue to strive and overcome obstacles in the way or whatever they throw. You make sure that you uh, continue on that path. So that's what I'm doing right now. It's here, it's the podcast. I just want to know, are you sleeping?